Well, here I am again. It's almost like I'm trying to get a YouTube channel here going, and that actually isn't the idea. The idea, of course, is to help other people, particularly traders. And um, this is going to be probably quite useful if you're not that familiar with MT4. And what it's going to do is show you how to add a standard chart. So like this one here is my clean candles white template, like so. And so I've just saved that. Those are the only three I've got in there. I've taken all the others out just for the purpose of this video. And uh, and what I want to do is, so if you were to open an offline chart or another chart, so if we open the Guppy chart window, it looks like this, which is the book of MT4. But I don't know anybody who enjoys this look. These The bars are fine. We can work with those. But, you know, all this grid on the background, take, take that off alone and you feel better about it, don't you, straight away? Yuck. Anyway, so what we'd want to be able to do is make it so if we open one of these, or if we open it up here, you see, we can uh, we can have it so that it looks like all the other templates or a proven template, because some people have like 10 or 12 currencies up and things like that. But uh, So what we do is, I'm show you how to do that. Save template. So it's up here. You see this squiggly thing? I'm pretty sure there's another way to do it. Is it charts? Tools? I don't know. I, I just know how to do it this way. This button here, save template. I, I must find the other way, actually. I'll try and find it for you. But anyway, save template. And then all you type in here, you can just delete all of this if you want because the extension's already here. Okay. So all you do is you go and type in default. It's that simple. And save it. Of course. Like I said, so there you have it. Now that's it. And if you don't believe me, that works. You watch what happens when I right click and chart window this now. Ta da! As if that was magic. Now the other time you might want to do it is if you open an offline chart. So if you say, oh, when I was doing the Renko thing, I had these. And we've got the same again. So what we'd like to do is, is we'd like to make that the same. And it's equally as simple. If we go up here again, what? Oh, let me just pause this and I'm going to try and find it. It's almost as if I hadn't gone. <laughs> it's at charts in the menu at the top. And then it's template and save template. Now you see why I go up there because it's just too many steps. Anyway, so we do that then. So we'll save the template with this. And, uh, and what we do then, instead of typing in default, we type in offline. And then if you go file, open an offline chart magically it's um it's there look now you got to be excited about that i think i am i think i am do you know i couldn't make these renko blocks work you, you, you it's, it's hard to believe isn't it that you can't do that actually i might go back to these because i reckon if you had a stop order at the last high you would have got stopped out there wouldn't you what about Nah, I'm not going back to them because I didn't. They didn't work for me. I couldn't make. I couldn't make reliable money, so I ditched them. Right. The last one was the strategy tester. Our old friend, the strategy tester, and up here you've got a magnifying glass. You can see we've got a keystroke for that as well, which is Control R, and that'll fire up the strategy tester. So if you wanted to test this strategy, for example, I'm trying to find a uh, time frame. If I use the date, I'll just go today, and today. And then I'll just go back a, a, a little bit with that, and we'll just we'll just run this thing, just for the purpose of uh, see if you've got the. Actually, I've got to move this a bit because I could do with. I'm trying to find the visual mode, and I can't find it. Why can't I find? I've got use date. I think I, I think I need to make this bigger. Hang on, there you go. So you've got visual mode. So we can see the chart for those that want to see it. And we'll just run this thing. We don't actually care what it's going to do. Uh, we're a GBP account. And uh, I don't actually care about I do. I, yeah, that'll be fine. And we'll just do that. This is one of the built-in um, robots that you get. And down here, we've got the start button, which is off your screen. I'm sorry, I've just uh, I've cut you a bit short there. So I'll just click the start button. And with any look, it's going to be downloading some data now. Oh, I'm going to pause it while I'm waiting because it's going to get so boring while you're watching this. Hang on. 
Right, so you can see it. It's been running in there and uh, I've failed to select a currency. No wonder I couldn't start it. I click start and this is what it does. It'll download some data if it hasn't already got it for the time frame. And then it runs through. And you see how pig ugly that is. Ugh. So we're going to do our little trick again where we go into here and we go save template. And this one's called oh, tester. Dot, I've left the TPL on, but that doesn't really matter. So now we click our start button, which is just out of your screen. It's just down there below you. See? And now you can see we've already got a white background. And see what I mean? So you could you could preload indicators and all sorts of here. If you had some kind of uh, strategy and you thought, if I had, um, you know, the old favourites, the 20 over 40 average cross or something, and you could pick a time frame and think, okay, would I actually buy it? You can slow this down here, you see. You can think, right, let's make this like like the real world. It's, it's quite fast. Uh, and if you wanted to um, make this faster, see, this is precise data. But if you're only trading on, say, the close or the open price of the next bar, if you do this, it's colossal f speed by comparison. Yeah, if I could start it again. You see, you can really, you can really get the benefit out of that, can't you? So you could, you could real time your trade. And you say, right, okay. Every time a bar closes, like that, or opens, I'm going to make a decision on it. Perhaps slow that down a bit more. This is the best way to trade, actually, because it saves you having to wait in front of the screen for hours. So if you just see that, put that on open prices. And do that. So it's like two tips in one, really, isn't it? How to back test your, your back testing of your back tester and make it look like you want to make it look if you're using indicators or whatever you're using. If you use a price grid to trade and you, you know, you're looking for something like a price action candle like this baby here, that one there, or even this one, which you would essentially say, I'm going down. And as you can see, it doesn't work every time. That's why we have a stop loss, isn't it? Yes, it is, traders. Exactly right. Right. Oh, God, I'm so boring. Listen, I'm going to go now because I'm going to bore myself stupid with this. You got the idea, haven't you? So templates, file, save template, and then it's either default, offline, or tester. Dead easy. All right. Listen, I'm going to go now. I think it's time I had a latte because I'm going to stop being English. You know what? I'm going to go to the USA and I'm just going to say, give me a dog and a coffee. All right. And make it, I tell you what, when you get me there, give me a crocodile sandwich and make it snappy. Yeah, I showed them guys.